गोपी जन बल्लभ गिरिवरदारी यशोदनंदन ब्रज जन रंजना दशोदनंदन ब्रज जन रंजना जमुना तेरा वन चारे जमुना तेरा वन चारे जय राधमा कुंजबिहारे जय राधमा कुंजबिहारे जय गोपी जन वल्लभ गिरिवरदारे जय गोपी जन वल्लभ गिरिवरदारे जशोदनंदन ब्रज जन रंजना जशोदनंदन ब्रज जन रंजना जमुना तीरा वन चारे जमुना तीरा वन चारे जय राधमा कुंज बिहारे जय राधमा कुंज बिहारे जय राधा माधव जय राधा माधव राधा माधव जय राधा माधव जय गौरनिताय जय गौरनिताय गौरनिताय जय गौरनिताय जय जय प्रभुपाद 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 अनिताय गौर हरि बल हरि बल हरि बल हरि बल जय विष्णुपाद परमहंस परिव्रज आचार्य अष्टतर श्रीमा अभय चरणारविंद भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी श्री प्रभुपाद की इस्कॉन बिब्री फाउंड्राचार्य डिवाइन ग्रेस लभुपाद की जय विष्णुपाद परमहंस परिव्रज आचार्य अष्टतर शत श्रीमा भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती को सभी ठाकुर श्री प्रभुपाद की अनंत कटि वैष्णव वृंद की श्री श्री जगन्नाथ बलदेव सुभद्र महारानी की श्री श्री गौरनिताय की श्री लक्ष्मी नरसिंह भगवान की ग्रंथरा श्रीमद भागवतम की श्री हरिनाम संकीर्तन की निताय गौर प्रमानंदे ऑल ग्लोरी सुदा सम्बल बॉडीज ऑल ग्लोरी सुदा सम्बल बॉडीज ऑल ग्लोरी सुदा सम्बल बॉडीज ऑल ग्लोरी ऑल ग्लोरी ऑल ग्लोरी गुरु एंड गौरंगा ऑल ग्लोरी टू सिल प्रभुपाद 
ओम ज्ञान तिमिरांधस्य ज्ञानंजन सलाकया चक्षुरुन्मिल जयन तस्म श्री गुरव नम श्री चैतन्य मनोष्ट स्थापित जन भूतले स्वयं रूप कदा मह्यम ददा श पदातिक वंदेह श्रीगुर श्रीजुता पद कामल श्रीगुर वैष्णवांश श्रीपांसागर जात सह गण रघुनाथ सजीव साइत सवधूत पिजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्रीराधा कृष्ण पाद सह गण ललिता श्री विशाखाता नमो विष्णुपादा कृष्ण प्रस्था भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वते देव गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात दिशतारिणे वंशाकूप कृपा सिंधु पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नमः नमो महावदन्नाय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदायते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नाने गौरदिशे नम हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंध दीनबंध जगत्पते गोपेश गोपिकाकंत राधाक नमस्ते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवासादि गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे ओं नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओं नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओं नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नर शरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तत जय मुदीर नष्ट प्रायशु अभद्रेश नित्यं भागवत सेवया भगवती उत्तम श्लोके भक्तिर्भवती नष्ट के रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्रीमद भागवतम कैंटो फोर चैप्टर एट चैप्टर इज एन टाइटल ध्रुव महाराज लिप सॉम टेक्स्ट नंबर ट्वेंटी फाइव नारद स्तर उबाकर्ण ज्ञात्या तस् चिकीर्षित पृष्ठा मूर्धनी अगग्ने पापिना प्राह विस्म नारद स्तुपाकर्ण ज्ञात्यास चिकीर्षित ज्ञात्यास चिकीर्षित पृष्ठा मूर्धनी अगघ्न 
पानिना प्राह विस्मित नारदस्तुपाकर्ण ज्ञात चित्रा मूर्धा अघगन पानिना प्राह विस्मित नारद द ग्रेट सेज नारद तत् दैट उपाकर्ण ओवर हियरिंग ज्ञावा एंड नोइंग तीज ध्रुव महाराज चिकित एक्टिविटीज पृष्ठवा by touching murdhani on the head akhagnena which can drive away all sinful activities panina by the hand praha said bismitaha being surprised ट्रांसलेशन एंड परपोर्ट बाई डिवाइन ग्रेस ऐसी भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी श्री प्रभुपाल ट्रांसलेशन द ग्रेट सेज नारद ओवर हर्ड दिस न्यूज एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑल द एक्टिविटीज ऑफ ध्रुव महाराज ही वॉज स्ट्रक विथ वॉन्डर ही अप्रोच ध्रुव एंड टचिंग द बॉयज हेड विथ इज ऑल वर्च्यूअस हैंड ही स्पोक एज फॉलोज परपोर्ट When Dhruva Maharaj was talking with his mother Suniti of all the incidents that had taken place in the palace Narada was not present thus the question may be raised how Narada overheard all these topics the answer is that Narada is trikalagya he is so powerful that he can understand the past future and present of everyone's heart just like the super soul the supreme personality of godhead therefore after understanding the strong determination of dhruva maharaj narada came to help him it may be explained in this way the supreme personality of godhead is present in everyone's heart and as soon as he understands that a living entity is serious 
about entering devotional service, he sends his representative. In this way, Narada was sent to Dhruva Maharaj. This is explained in Chaitanya Charitamrita, Guru Krishna Prasadepai Bhukti Latha Beach. By the grace of the spiritual master and Krishna, one can enter into devotional service. Because of Dhruva Maharaj's determination, Krishna, the super soul, immediately sent his representative Narada to initiate him. Mukam Kurati Bachalam Panghul Langhai Tegiring Jatkripata Maham Bande Si Guru Dinatarinam Paramananda Madhavam Si Chaitanya Isharam Hare Krishna Welcome everyone for the Sunday morning Bhagavatam class. So this is the verse from fourth canto of Srimad Bhagavatam and the section talks about Dhuva Maharaj's spiritual journey when he was only five years old. The character of Dhuva Maharaj and character of Prahlad Maharaj is very very attractive for the devotees and it was specially attractive to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, while he was in Jagannath Puri, in the afternoon, he used to go to the temple of Tota Gopinath. Tota Gopinath is a temple where Gadadhar Pandit used to stay. And Mahaprabhu used to hear from him every day, three hours. Class can be for 45 minutes, but Katha has to be three hours. I was hearing also when Raghunath Das Goswami used to stay at the bank of Radha Kund and he used to talk about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu every day afternoon. It was also for three hours. And I also heard that when Srila Prabhupada was doing Kirtan at Thompson Square Park in America, he used to chant for three hours. So three hours is very, very powerful slot. So we don't have three hours today, but uh, we'll discuss for one hour. And the journey began of Dhruva Maharaj at the age of five. So while I was talking about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was hearing from Gadadhar Pandit every day about Dhruva Maharaj and Prahlad Maharaj. Many times he heard. Who is Chaitanya Mahapu? Chaitanya Mahapu is Krishna. And who is Gadadhar Pandit? Srimati Radharani. And they are discussing about Dhruva Maharaj. But we have a tendency to talk about Radha Krishna from 10th Canto. So you have to understand as a sadhaka, Dhruva Maharaj's character and Prahlad Maharaj's character is very, very important. Unless you get purified, when our heart is free from the lust, then we can discuss about 10th canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. So here, Prabhupada is very wonderfully explaining in the purport, while Dhruva Maharaj was on the way to the forest, Narad Muni came. So before coming to this point, let us... Uh, Discuss the background a little bit, how Dhruva Maharaj's journey began. So Dhruva Maharaj's journey began from the lap of his father. So King Uttanapad, the son of Sayambhubha Manu, he had two wives. One was Suruchi and other one was Suniti. Names are also very significant. Ruchi and Niti. We have two things in this world, principles and test. Attraction. So Uttanapad was very attracted to Suruchi. But he did not have that kind of 
attraction, rather we completely neglected the other wife who was Suniti. Suniti's son was Dhruva and Suriji's son was Uttam. So Uttam was on the lap of his father. And the father also was on the throne. By seeing his brother, Dhruva, also thought, why not me? Attracted. This is the nature of this world, we get attracted. Dhruva also got attracted. We, got a, we get attraction from the position, we get attraction from the opulences. There are different ways we get attracted in this material world. And our journey continues. But when Dhruva was about to sit on the lap of his father, his stepmother Suruchi was there next to him. And uh, by seeing her, Uttanapad also felt very uncomfortable and he did not give any importance to Dhruva. And uh, he disallowed him to sit on his lap. But while Dhruva was attempting to sit on the lap of his father, Suruchi started using very harsh words with cruel heart. Suruchi said that you are trying to sit on the lap of your father, but that is not possible. Why? It is not possible because you have not taken birth from my womb. And in Prabhupada is writing by that, Suruchi is trying to convey that you are not a legitimate son. Although your father is Uttanapad, but still you are not a legitimate son. Why? Because you are not born from the womb of me and you have taken birth from the womb of another lady. That's why, what do you have to do? We have to perform austerities and by the grace of the Lord, you should take birth from my womb. Then you will be qualified to sit on the lap of your father. So by these words, Suruchi tried to convey that you should give up your body. Means you die and take birth again and then you will be qualified. So Dhruva was a Kshatriya. An insult of a Kshatriya is worse than death. Although he was five years old, he took it very, very seriously. And he was angry like anything. And he left that place. And he came to the place of his mother, Suniti. But before, he reached, the news came to Suniti. This kind of news spreads very fast. Good news doesn't spread so fast. That's why it is a, it is a saying that good news is no news. Bad news is the news. So this news came to Suniti. And Suniti also became very disturbed by hearing these words of his fellow or co-wife of his husband, of her husband. But Suniti did not react. Very interestingly, she responded in a very Krishna conscious way. So words are very, very important. Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, we should speak truth, but that truth should be palatable also. Essence is that we should not speak in such a way that others' mind gets agitated, even if it is truth. So words have very significant impact in our life. That's why our bhakti begins with hearing the transcendental sound vibration. 
when we sleep that time nothing works but sound works alarm clock helps us to wake up right sound is very very powerful but sunitis uh, suruchi's words acted in a negative way at the beginning but that turned to be very positive in dhruva's life but lesson to be learned when you when you use harsh words it has negative in, impact in people's life so you have to be very very careful how you talk so generally in kali yuga we try to talk superficially whatever is not there inside we try to talk right inside i am not happy but outside oh prabhu you are so wonderful devotee but inside i know who you are but still they speak like that something is within and something else is spoken and that's why words have no value in kali yuga so there was a beggar that beggar came to a house of a landlord in a village and the beggar started glorifying the landlord with wonderful words oh you are such a magnanimous person started glorifying so when he was glorifying that landlord that uh, that person was talking also he said are you hearing he is talking to his wife so i have kept some money in the locker please bring that and the beggar started glorifying more then he said please bring i have kept some uh, jewelry please bring that so he was glorifying and he was telling bring this bring that bring that but after some time beggar started realizing that things are not coming so he asked the landlord that uh, you are asking your wife to bring but why is not coming he said it will not come he said why he said you are satisfying me with words i am also satisfying you with words so this is kali yuga so genuine thing is not there but krishna wants us to speak the truth and what is truth what is spoken from shastra we have to speak from shastra if it is not there in shastra then purpose is bogus talk waste of time gramma katha sat vaadini rajendra ninam santi sahasya sa apashtatam atpatatvam griheshu griha medinam the griha medis means those who are staying at home but lord is not the center of their life they spend their time talking about nonsensical subject matter and varieties are unlimited sahasra sa thousands and thousands of news how many newspapers are there in this world nowadays unlimited number of newspapers and it it comes out every day Sri Bhakti Jantu Sarjit Agur Prabhupad used to say, if so many news can be there in this world, so there can be newspaper about the spiritual subject matter at every moment. Ananta Sesh has been describing about Supreme Personality of Godhead since time immemorial, till he is not able to complete it. And he will never be able to complete it. because it's unlimited and ever expanding is always expanding anandam bhuti vardhanam patipadam purnamrita asha is very inconceivable it is unlimited at the same time it is also expanding so it's beyond the scope of measuring so you have to speak in a very positive way so there are two frogs again words so we talked about human community now frog community so two frogs fell into a well dry well and after they fell the frog community got the news 
And uh, when people are in difficulty, people love to see that fun, right? What happened? What happened? People become very curious when people are in difficulty. But when people are having good time, no interest. So it's also applicable for frog community. So they came to see what's going on. And they saw two of their members fell into the well. And they are, they are, both the frogs were trying to come out of the well. But these frogs, other frogs, they are trying to discourage. And that is the nature of this world. You will only get discouragement. Sometimes the bodies complain, I don't get any encouragement from people. That's normal. If you get encouragement, that is abnormal. Discouragement is the principle of this world. And that is applicable to the frog community also. So frog, these frogs were talk, discouraging. Don't try to come out. It's not possible. Impossible. Don't try. So by hearing these discouraging words, one frog gave up the idea to come out. Words, very powerful. But other frog was still coming up, 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 and came out. These frogs were very astonished. How come? We are discouraging you so much. Still, you came out? He said, really? You are discouraging me, but I was thinking that you are encouraging me. Because I am hearing problem. So this is the power of words. But Suruchi here never used encouraging words. Discouraging words. But Suniti will be using encouraging words. He told her son Dhruva, you may not like the way your stepmother spoke to you. But whatever she spoke is truth. She said that only by the mercy of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, you can fulfill your desire. That is the truth. Nobody can fulfill your desire. Because Dhruva wanted a greater kingdom than Brahma. He became so angry. He became highly ambitious said, what throne of my father? I want to have a kingdom greater than Brahma. So your desire will be fulfilled, Suniti said, if you take shelter of the Supreme Personality of God. And Dhruva took it very seriously. And he asked his mother, where can I find the Supreme Personality of God? So his mother, as a guru, told him that I heard the saintly people generally go to the forest to find God. So you can find God in the forest. So Dhruva's palace, his father's palace was near Vrindavan. It's near Kanpur, still there. If you visit that site, that palace that is there. Not in the palace form, but that place is still there. So Dhruva started his journey immediately. No packing of luggage, this and that. He immediately left the palace. That is called sincerity. Do it now. That is a symptom of sincerity. But we say, okay, we will try. I will be serious tomorrow. That tomorrow will never come. Because tomorrow also he'll say, I'll be serious tomorrow. The next day also, I'll be serious tomorrow. From tomorrow, I'll be very serious. And we make plan also, from tomorrow, I'll be following this, 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 this. And that tomorrow generally doesn't come. But Dhruva was not waiting for tomorrow. Immediately, he left. And on the way, Narad Muni met him. That is a subject matter today. So Prabhupada is telling, while Suniti was advising Dhruva to go to the forest, that time Narada was not there. How Narada Muni got the news? Narada Muni got the news, that's why he came. How he got the news? Prabhupada is explaining, 
pure devotee has the quality of super soul. Just like super soul knows everything, what's going on inside our heart, what we are thinking, everything is known to the super soul. So you cannot, you cannot hide anything from the Supreme Personality of God. In this world, we try to manage things, no? I have done secretly, nobody saw, nobody knows, I'm thinking, nobody knows. That's applicable for the material world. But, spiritually, nothing is unknown. Or to talk about action, even the desires are recorded in the computer, karma computer of Supreme Personality of God. Very expert computer. Okay. All the desires are also recorded. And Krishna also arranges how our desires will be fulfilled. He makes his plan. Very merciful Lord. That's why we should be very careful what we desire. Because all the desires will be fulfilled. When? That's a question. But definitely it will be fulfilled. And it is also explained that Paramatma is there in the heart of Dhruva and Paramatma is also there in the heart of Narada Muni. It's a connection. They say Paramatma is the original Guru. And he responded, immediately responded. Why he responded? Because Dhruva was very, very sincere. And he sent a guru. What kind of guru? Uttam Adhikari Guru, Mahabhagavad Guru, Nitya Siddha Guru, Narada Muni. So, Pahupada explains in some other place, we get that kind of guru. What kind of guru we get? Depending on our sincerity. If we are interested in enjoyment, we will get that kind of guru. If we want some mukti, we will get that kind of guru. If we want suddha bhakti, we will get that kind of guru. So depending on our desire, guru will be available. So here, seeing the sincerity, super soul sent Narad Muni to initiate Dhruva Maharaj. This is the process of accepting spiritual master. It should be guided by Paramatma. Paramatma guides the sincere soul who will be our spiritual master. And it exactly happened in the life of Dhruva Maharaj. And Prabhupada quotes a very famous verse from Chaitanya Charita Amrita Brahmanda Bhomite Kona Bhagavanji Guru Krishna Prasadepai Bhakti Latavij. So I'll discuss this verse in detail today. Brahmanda Bhramite Kono Bhagavanji. Very important. So we are traveling. Whether we like traveling or not, we have to travel. And not uh, interstate travel or intercontinent travel. Interplanetary and also interuniversal travel we go through. Through different bodies. Different bodies. And by great fortune, Kono Bhagavan, very fortunate person, by the mercy of Guru and Krishna, receives the seed of pure devotional service. Bhakti Lata Beach. And in this section of Chaitanya Chaitanya Amrita, Prabhupada writes in the purport that initiation is Bhakti Lata Beach. So through the process of initiation, we get bhakti lata beach. The process of sadhana bhakti, the mantra, that is called bhakti lata beach. And due to lack of understanding, we think after receiving the seed, our journey is complete. Right? I have got initiation. Perfection has been achieved. So seed, you receive the seed, that is the end of the journey or this is the beginning of the journey? Very good. Understanding is clear. So why you get the seed? 
He said, I got the seed. What to do now? I got the seed. We don't know what to do with the seed, but I got the seed. I got the initiation. What to do now? I got the initiation. So that's why you have to study Shastra. So what to do with the seed as a gardener? You have to plant that seed. Purpose of getting the seed to plant it. Where to plant? In this floor. Where the gardener plants the seed? In a field, in the soil. And the soil should be fertile. Then seed will fructify. So where a sadhaka who has received the seed of pure devotional service plant that seed in the heart. But that heart should be fertile. So which heart is fertile? Which heart is fertile? The heart which is very soft. Soft-hearted person. That soft heart is fertile field for cultivating the seed of your devotional service. But in Kali Yuga, the heart is very hard, harder than stone. Our Acharyas are explaining, holy name has the potency to melt the stone, but it is finding difficult to melt our heart. By that it is proved that our heart is harder than stone. So generally I say our heart is made of some special steel. Very difficult to melt. So hard heart is not suitable for planting the seed what we have received through the process of initiation. So how to make the heart soft? Humility is the process. By cultivating humility, our heart becomes soft. That's why Mahaprabhu is emphasizing that point again and again, again and again. Be humble, be humble. Trinadupi suni chena, tarorupi sahishtuna, amani na manadena, kirtaniya sadavari. Why is telling? Because that is the fundamental principle. If that is not taken care of, there is no question of planting that seed. It's not going to work. We'll live with that seed only. Nothing will come out. Because our heart is very hard because of pride, ego. So therefore, in order to plant the seed properly, we have to give up our ego. That is the first step as a sadhaka. Then it will be suitable to plant. So now, okay, suitable heart is available, seed is available, planting is done. Then what to do? Water the seed. You have to water. So now we got the news. Every day morning we take some water. Fresh water, maybe whistlery water, and start thinking how to water the seed inside, how it will go in the heart. So, this water is not that kind of water. This is transcendental water. And the transcendental water is Mahaprabhu is explaining to Rupa Goswami Sravan Kirtan Jale Karaho Sinchan. The water is hearing and chanting. That is the water. Shiksha. Diksha is the seed. Shiksha is the watering process. So planting the seed, getting the seed is one time event. But watering, how many times? It is said till Get with perfection, after perfection also, watering process should continue. It's an eternal process. Siksha is eternal. 
it continues in the spiritual world also there is no need of diksha in the spiritual world but shiksha is a continuous process so watering has to be done shravan kirtan then what will happen the seed will fructify kripa will manifest then kripa will start growing 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 and as explained it will go to golok vrindavan and embrace the lotus feet of krishna and from there there will be fruits from that creeper beautiful fruits for that fruit love of god it prema fall the fruit of love of god it and the gardener enjoys that fruit and keeps on continuing watering the plant this is called perfection in our spiritual journey but mahaprabhu is telling in order to achieve that we have to face two very important obstacles when plants grow in the garden there is a possibility that animals can enter and destroy that plant right and mahaprabhu is giving the example of a wonderful elephant it's called mad elephant can enter into the area the area of our heart which is compared to the garden of our devotional creeper so mad elephant what is mad elephant if mad elephant enters into your garden what will happen anything will remain nothing will remain everything will be destroyed in the same way if that mad elephant enters into our heart that is garden then our devotional creeper whatever has been grown will be completely destroyed and what is that mad elephant vishnav apra offending the vishnavas is compared to mad elephant so that is the problem sadhu sangha is the cause of bhakti and same sadhu sangha can be the destruction of bhakti same if we serve the vaishnavas that will help us to grow in spiritual life but when we offend the vaishnavas that will cause damage to our devotional service how to protect from the elephant entering into the garden popad is telling mahaprabhu is explaining we have to put a fence what kind of fence bamboo fence iron fence electric fence what kind of fence fence of pure devotees when we are surrounded by pure devotees popad is telling a neophyte devotee should take shelter of pure devotees sadhu sangha means like minded sober and more advanced three qualifications are mentioned we should have like minded devotees sajatiya sober snigdha and also more advanced then will be protected that is a fence very strong fence so if we offend the vaishnavas elephant will appear and if you serve the vaishnavas fence will be created so what do you want elephant or fence ha huh? so some people say why not such a strong fence even elephant cannot enter so we like to offend very difficult to give up offensive mentality sometimes people think how it is possible to lead a life without offending someone that is the test of devotional service hearing the negative subject matter is very testy we have test otherwise how we are continuing in this world we have test popa said why you are in this world because we like it otherwise how you can stay for so long since time immemorial we are in this world definitely we like it and one popa disciple said three words are enough to keep us in this material world i 
like it. So we are continuing our journey in this world because of this sentence, I like it. Even in devotional service also, Prabhuji, I like this. I like to do this service. I love to do this service. It's not about you. Devotional service is all about Krishna. Whether he is pleased or not, that is the subject matter. Not I am pleased or not. That is not the subject matter. So it's called paradigm shift, complete shift from I to Krishna. And that is the most difficult austerity in our life. Getting up early in the morning, chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra, hearing Bhagavatam, all these things are very good. But real austerity should take place within. Shifting business, very difficult, painful. I am the center, now Krishna is the center. It's not that easy. I was telling people things, center very easy. Make a house in the center of the house, Krishna. But that is not the meaning, Krishna is the center. Krishna is the center means we do whatever we do for the pleasure of Krishna. That is the meaning of Krishna is the center of our life. And that is the main subject matter of our devotional journey. So that is possible when we cultivate this quality of humility because that is connected. When you are humble, then we will not offend devotees. When you are humble, we will appreciate devotees. But when you are proud, we cannot see good in others. So generally, people have a tendency to see faults in this world. So our Acharyas have explained, there are five levels of people in this world. Lowest level, fifth level, they can only see bad. They cannot see good. They see all, everywhere, what is there? Only fault, 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 like Paramatma. Nothing they can see, only faults. And this, there is no devotee here. Because they cannot see devotees, because they can only see faults. Fifth level of consciousness. Fourth level, they can see both good and bad, but they talk about bad. Lot of interest in bad. Good? No. If someone comes, oh, you know, he has done something very good. Really? Okay. Not interested. You know, he has done this. Really? What else he did? What else? He... Bad news means we get interested. That is our nature. Fourth level. Third level, equal. In both good and bad. Treat equally. Second level, they see both good and bad. But they talk about only good. And top level is Paravangsa level, where one sees only good. And that is spiritual platform. When one achieves that level, he will enter into the spiritual world. But for Sadhu Sangha, we should be at least at the second level. Otherwise, it is very difficult to have proper Sadhu Sangha. Sadhu Sangha means glorification of the Lord and glorification of his pure devotees. That is Sadhu Sangha. Machitta Madgata Prana Vadhayanta Parasparam Kathayanta Sya Mangnityam Tushanticha Ravanticha. The devotees derive pleasure, unlimited pleasure, by discussing about Krishna. So we have to check whether we are deriving pleasure by discussing about Krishna or we are deriving pleasure from something else. That is a test. Some people ask, how do I know I am advancing on Krishna consciousness or not? That is the test. Where from I am deriving the pleasure? The devotees in Vrindavan, devotees in Vaikuntha, they derive unlimited pleasure constantly by discussing about the Supreme Personality of God. That is Vaikuntha. Vaikuntha means where subject matter of discussion is Krishna. That is Vaikuntha. That's why Bhaktivinoda Thakur says, Jedino grihe bhajana dekhi, grihe te goloka bhai. Bhaktivinoda Thakur is telling, I, am, I, I see my home as Golok Vrindavan. Why? Because bhajan is going on. Bhajan means what? Glorification of the Supreme Personality of God. Where there is constant glorification, 
of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, that is Vrindavan. Okay? There are five varieties of Vrindavan. First is Goloka Vrindavan, topmost region of the spiritual sky. Goloka Vrindavan. We always talk that. We want to go there, right? Nobody uh, is interested in other place. Devotees here. They all want to go to Goloka Vrindavan. Very good desire. But for that we have to do certain things. Then second Vrindavan is Bhoma Vrindavan. When Krishna comes and manifests his Vrindavan pastime. When he was prakat, means manifested in this world. Then Krishna goes back. Then what happens? Vrindavan continues to stay, remain in this world, whatever we are seeing now. That is third category of Vrindavan. Fourth, wherever pure devotee stays, that place becomes Vrindavan. Prabhupada is to say, I am carrying Vrindavan. So pure devotee transforms the places into Vrindavan. He also told, Iskon temples are like Vaikunt. And the fifth is, mind of the pure devotee is Vrindavan. Mahaprabhu is telling Jagannath, more man Vrindavan. Radharani is telling Krishna, my mind is Vrindavan. So whoever thinks about Krishna 24 hours a day, that mind becomes Vrindavan. So our journey should begin from there. First, we have to make our mind Vrindavan. We are interested in Golok Vrindavan. That's very good. But in order to go there, first we have to make our mind Vrindavan. And how that will be possible? When we can think of Vrindavan 24 hours a day, then our mind will become Vrindavan. That is a journey. Then from that journey, what will happen? Wherever we are, that place will become Vrindavan. Jidina griya, bhajana dekhi griya te golok bhai, our house will become Vrindavan. Our temple will become Vrindavan. Wherever we go, that place will become Vrindavan. Then go to Vrindavan. In Uttar Pradesh, that is also Vrindavan. Then give up your body. Then what will happen? Go to Bama Vrindavan. And from there, when Prajabhasis will give the certificate, he is ready. Certificate of readiness is available. Then he will be allowed to enter into Goloka Vrindavan. So this is a journey. But journey begins from within. We have to make our mind Vrindavan. Okay? So coming back to the elephant. So mad elephant has entered. So in order to protect, we have to take association of the pure devotees. That is the protecting factor. Who can protect us from bhakti? Protect us in our journey of bhakti? Devotees. Advanced devotees. Pure devotees. Then another problem, Rupa Goswami, while Mahaprabhu was talking to Rupa Goswami, apart from this aparad, there is anarthas. And Mahaprabhu talks about six kinds of anarthas. Nisiddhachar kutinati jibohingshan lap puja patishthadi jato uposakha gan. So Mahaprabhu is using the term uposakha, means <coughs> Weeds. When the gardener does the gardening work along with the creeper, weeds also will grow. And weeds look like creepers. So this anarthas also will, like, will look like bhakti. We are thinking, oh, we are advancing very nicely. Things are happening. But these are weeds. That's why expert gardener knows what is anartha and what is bhakti. Otherwise, what will happen? Uposhaka, that weeds will grow faster. Because when you give water, if you don't take care of the weeds, weeds grow, will, will grow faster. And the main creeper will not be able to grow and it will be finished. That's why you have to take care of the weeds. 
six kinds of weeds mahaprabhu is mentioning in chaitanya charitamrita nishiddhachar nishiddhachar means forbidden activities Prabhupada is telling in order to protect from this anartha we have to follow for regulative principle very strictly because sinful activities are very very powerful weeds in kali yuga tendency to commit sinful activities is very strong that's why you have to be very very careful and sincerely try to follow for regulative principle nishiddhacha we should avoid sinful activities second kuti nati kuti nati means diplomacy or politics talk behind the back prajalpa gramma katha gossips these are not favorable these are the anarthas that's why you have to carefully avoid and diplomacy means what is the diplomacy what is the meaning of politics saying something and doing something else so you are telling something thinking something doing something this is called politics we will not know whether what is going to happen he is telling something but something is in mind and he is doing something else very difficult untrustworthy character exhibits these qualities so mahaprabhu is telling to give up this kutti nati very unfavorable jeev hingshan third one jeev hingshan means killing animals and also become envious of others envy towards others living entities and that is very very dangerous envy is the root problem that's why you have to give up our envy and popad is telling in the purport of this verse that those who do not preach krishna consciousness he become victimized by this anartha very interesting deep meaning who does not preach who are envious so in order to come out from the envy we have to preach krishna consciousness we are envious of three personalities three categories of people we are envious of krishna we are envious of devotees and we are envious to the people in general so that's why we have to do three things name ruchi jive daya vaishnav seva if we chant the holy name of the lord properly then we can become free from envy towards krishna then vaishnav seva if we serve the devotees then we can become free from envy towards the vaishnavas and if we preach krishna consciousness to the public then what will happen we will be free from envy towards general people so these are the ways to become free from envy jivhingshan then love love means rendering devotional service in expectation of some material profit what i'll get what i'll get mahaprabhu is telling not dhanang but if you go give dhanang mahaprabhu did not want but i want right so going to the supreme personality of godhead and asking for something material is not a very intelligent idea the foolish idea who can give vaikuntha and if you tell him please give some dollars it's not good it's called lack of intelligence that's why in front of the lord when we pray we should not ask anything material where you are rendering pure devotional service we should not ask anything material from the supreme personality of god then we have this anartha of love profiteering is a business deal it's not bhakti you are doing something for the person and asking something in return then it becomes a business deal it's not love or bhakti 
स्लाब पूजा पूजा मीन्स वर्षिप आई एम सीनियर डिवोडी आई शुड बी रेस्पेक्टेड एंड वेन यू गेट रेस्पेक्ट रेगुलरली एक्सपेक्टेशन बिकम्स वेरी हाई सम वन इज ऑफरिंग ऑबेसेंस इज एवरी डे वन डे ही डिड नॉट डू वाई ही डिड नॉट डू एक्सपेक्टेशन राइट एक्सपेक्टेशन so giving up the desire for accepting worship is very very difficult there is a man who gave up everything and he became a sadhu and he started staying outside of the village on a mountain in a cave and doing very good bhajan and villagers became very impressed by his uh, austerity and every year out of appreciation of his uh, renunciation He used to come. They used to come and appreciate him and offer some gifts, like bas puja type. And it was happening on a particular day every year. So one year, same day came, and Murtha was also proper, but no one was coming. And he started thinking. He started checking whether the same date, same tithi or not. He said, "Yeah, everything is same. Why they are not coming? Expected." expectation then he came out from his bhajan kutir to check whether they are coming or not they he could not see he said maybe i am not able to see because uh, i am not uh, in a higher space so he got up into a tree he went up 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 to the top branch to see and what happened the branch broke and he fell on the ground also broke his bone and that is a result of expecting respect worship will destroy our bhakti then you may say what to do then that's why papa said you should immediately transfer that worship to your guru that is the safest way to handle worship because devotees will be respected anyway receiving respect is not a problem expecting respect is the problem but the problem is when we receive respect then slowly slowly unknowingly we develop the expectation of respect that's why we should not think that i am the person worthy of respect and our system is also very fantastic guru guru receive worships but he knows he is not the recipient of worship baso puja We are, we are worshiping Basadev, not the Guru. Guru is the representative of the Basadev. So immediately transfer that. If he does not transfer, what will happen? The bone will be broken. Bhakti will be finished. It's just a matter of time. He will fall down. That is the result. That's why we have to be very, very careful in receiving respect. That's why Shri Bhakti Janata Swami Thakur Prabhupada, when his disciple used to come to offer respect, he used to say, Dasos mean I am your servant. We should always remind us that we are the servant. But if we don't remind that, then all it will happen. We will develop the habit of expecting respect from others, and that is very very unfavorable in our progress of our devotional journey. Then the last one is pratishta. That is the last one. Pratishta means what? Position. What position I'll get? In this corn also, lot of positions available. If you become attracted by that, then journey will be very difficult. And we think also by having some position, we will achieve perfection. But to enter into the spiritual world, only one qualification is needed. Love of God. He will not ask, "Oh, you are the temple president, then you can enter." It's not like that. You are the GVC of Iskon, then you can enter. It's not the question will be asked. Question will be asked whether you are a pure devotee or not. By that, we are not trying to minimize the responsibility. Position of service is important, but that is not the goal of our life, and that will not take us to the spiritual world. that is a responsibility given 
and we should not become attached to that rather we should become scared of that popad used to say the example of jamaraj he made some mistake and because of that he became vidura so if you go up and up problem will be more and more his holiness bhakti charan swami maharaj used to say when you fall from first floor of a building you can manage to survive but if you fall from upper floors you will not be visible you will be finished that's why when you go up we have to be very very careful we should be grounded then there is no possibility of falling if you are grounded how you can fall because i am already grounded how you can fall on the ground so that's why being grounded is very very important you may be on the 100th floor but if you are grounded then you are protected because you are not identifying yourself with the 100th floor you are identifying with the ground floor dasos min i am the servant then any position you can take you can become the head of the whole universe you can become the head of the whole creation no problem but if you don't have that understanding if you become in charge of a small department you will think that i am in the 100th floor and you will break your bone so this position is very very dangerous unless we are very very careful about it that's why we should be attached to the principle of service not to the position of service because position will change but principle of service will remain eternally that's why you should become attached to something which is eternal so you should be attached to the principle of service which is the eternal principle in our spiritual journey so in that way mahaprabhu is teaching us how our seed of pure devotional service can fructify and go to the topmost place of the entire creation goloka vrindavan and we can get the fruit from that devotional creeper and enjoy that fruit eternally and keep on watering sabana kirtan jal we have to keep on watering the root of that creeper and in that way our life will become successful hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare sila prabhu pad ki jai granth raj shrimad bhagavatam ki jai gor pramanande hari hari bo if you have any question or comment हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा महाराज प्लीज एक्सेप्ट माय हम्बल ओबेसेंसेस इट वाज एन एक्सेलेंट लेक्चर अ गुड टॉपिक एंड द बेस्ट पार्ट वाज यू नॉट ओनली गिव अस द सीड नॉट ओनली गिव अस द फर्टाइल लैंड द सोइल द एनवायरनमेंट एंड हाउ टू वाटर द सीड Uh, and also to see that the seed you know the plant grows so that way you are given a very holistic uh, uh, knowledge about this uh, bhakti the devotional practice and we are ever grateful uh, so this is just my realization i thought i will share uh, after a very long time we have been able to uh, get the entire uh, uh, gist of uh, these activities and more than anything the the six uh, the acts which is going to halt your progress Uh, and the five levels uh, what you mentioned so all these are really uh, gems and uh, you 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 went through a whole saga right from dhruva maharaj and then we came to uh, this uh, level of the prema bhakti understanding and then following it and then ultimately uh, uh, it was a it was a great uh, bumper bonanza for us i'm very very thankful and for all, all the devotees uh, any please any keep uh, blessing us and please guide us in this way for a long time to come Hare Krishna. Okay, that, okay, no question, right? Okay. Hare Krishna, Maharaj. Uh, Maharaj, what happens to our uh, immature desires we might have in our heart at the start of our uh, devotional life? 
because Dhruva Maharaj had some desire and that uh, got fulfilled, though he felt it is not required. Similarly, we all have a lot of them and we are trying to progress. Some of our desires might not be really helpful for our spiritual progress at the moment. And uh, what if later we progress and the desire is there which gets recorded in Lord's... Uh, not get recorded, it's recorded immediately. <laughs> So what happens to that? Instant recording. So? So what happens to that? Will, will that also get uh, fulfilled or...? Yeah, that is a common principle. That's why Dhruva Maharaj is still in Dhruva Loka. Okay. Because he wanted a kingdom greater than Brahma. So he got that. So therefore we have to be very, very careful what we desire. But we have a hope. And that hope is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is beyond all these normal principles. And he is telling in a very simple Bengali verse how he deals with his devotees. He says, Ama bhaje, Bengali verse, Ama bhaje vishwai mange, seto boro murkha, amito bigyo, tare vishwai kene divo, sa charana amito diya vishwai bhulaivo. So, translation of these verses, Mahaprabhu is telling that he is worshipping me, but he is desiring material things. He is a number one fool, first. So, Mahaprabhu is correctly recognizing. We are worshipping Mahaprabhu, but if we desire something material, that is not a symptom of intelligence, the symptom of foolishness. But, Mahaprabhu is very merciful. Mahaprabhu is telling, Amito Bhikyo, but I am not a fool. Tare Vishwai Kena Divo, why I will fulfill his desire? Sa Charana Amrita Diya, Vishwai Bhulai Ivo. I will make him forget all material desires. That is the hope giving verse for the Gauriya Vaishnavas. So we should surrender at the lotus feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Okay? Hare Krishna. Mike, this side. This side, that side, you should share, no? Somebody should coordinate. Okay, no problem. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Thank you for the wonderful class. <clears throat> the, my question is, uh, the series of talk that we had over the last week, when uh, when we are taking advice from senior devotees, and then at times when it becomes uh, not palatable in the sense, uh, it goes um, against our devotional service, uh, this kind of block. Then what should be our... Uh, what? You could not understand the word. When we are taking advice from senior devotees, and then uh, sometimes it is... Uh, no, it is an obstruction to our devotional service. Then how should we uh, deal with this? If someone is guiding you and you are seeing or observing that her, his or her guidance is going in a negative way, then you should go to higher authorities. It's not that one person should be there in your life. That is a principle. There should be different levels of authorities in your journey. Will that come under, uh, I mean, if we are going to higher authority, authority, will it come under Vaishnava Aparat? No, no, if you do in a positive spirit, it's the attitude. Okay. You should not do it in a disrespectful way. You maintain the respect, at the same time, avoid which is unfavorable. If some association is not so favorable, then you should avoid that but keep respectful attitude. That is a principle. Then you are not part of opera. But if you develop disrespectful attitude, then that will create Vishnu opera. Yeah. Uh, that, and then about desires. What about uh, spiritual desires? Especially for uh, I mean, being parents to children, if they are not following the path of, or they say they want some time. Is it okay to pray for them to beg Krishna, Guru, the Guru Parampara, 
for their spiritual progress will that also be recorded and then yes good recording <laughs> praying for some spiritual thing is very very good very good desire hari krishna thank you maharaj good time Hare Krishna Maharaj. In fact, uh, when I was thinking about the question, you already answered it. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so, the question that I had in mind was, um, the class today had a very tall order in terms of, the, uh, that we have anarthas, we have attachments, on top of that we have this desire, then we have the conditionings, then we have all of the responsibilities and all those things. It seems a very tall order in terms of whether as a sadhaka or a practicing bhaktas, do we still have hope Maharaj? Yeah, I give the hope. Okay, very good. Hope is there. If you give up hope, Prabhupada is telling you are a dead man. The symptom of devotional service is asa bandha, hope. A krura, when he heard that he have, he have, he will have to go to Mindavan, he thought, I am working with Kangsha. <laughs> How? I can go to Vindavan. I am a demoniac person. But he started thinking that Krishna delivered Putana. <laughs> so I have some hope. So, but Bhaktivinoda Thakur is more humble. Bhaktivinoda Thakur is uh, uh, singing, Osura Sakol Pailo Charan, Vinoda Thakila Boshi. Gopinath, Amiki Doshe Doshe. Bhakti Thakur is saying in a different tone, he is telling that all the Asuras got delivered by you, but this Bhakti Vinod is not delivered yet. What kind of mistake I did? Amiki Doshe Doshe. So he is thinking that he is worse than demons. Hare Krishna. This side. One this side, one that side is good. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Thank you for the wonderful class. Maharaj, uh, you mentioned about the weeds and the Bhakti Lata beach growing. Sometimes you mentioned that we may think that the Bhakti Lata beach is growing, but actually the weeds are growing. So how do we differentiate over there? You mentioned about the six types of weeds. So we understand that in those six types of weeds only that we are watering the weeds and not the plant. Mm. Is that my understanding correct? Sometimes what happens, we have some wrong understanding about advancement of bhakti. Just like if someone is offering obeisances to you, giving respect. So when you started the journey, only one people are offering respect. Now after a few months, 10, then after a few years, hundred, then you are thinking you are, you are advancing in Krishna consciousness because number of pranams are increasing. That is called weed. That is not symptom of advancement. What is the symptom of advancement? How many people you are offering respect? That is the symptom of advancement. Okay. Otherwise, you will be caught up. One example. So, weeds will look like bhakti. And uh, one symptom of honesty uh, of bhakti or doing bhakti with anartha das, you will get a lot of material profit. And people think, oh, very good. Things are happening in my life. I am doing good in my exam, getting job, which are not possible. After chanting, things are happening. So I am advancing in bhakti. But that will not continue for long because after some time, opposite will happen also. Then you will stop the process. So these are the examples which look like bhakti, but this is not bhakti. This is, these are anarthas. Okay. Expert gardener knows. Online question. Online question is also there. Who will check online? You? Was, uh... Earlier, I used to see uh, I used to see good in everyone, 
now bcs of uh, few instances uh, i have degraded i see good and bad both does human being degrade also and why how we can upgrade again so is he or she so she used to see good in everyone very good platform so she was for amongst her before so that's why you have to know what we are that's very very important seeing good in everyone is a perfected platform and from there nobody can fall down so just for a correction so definitely we can fall down anybody can fall down we are not if we are not careful we will fall and if you are careful then we will upgrade ourselves so you have to be careful if we are carefully avoiding the cause of our fall then we will definitely will not fall okay any other question mic is not working don't put it off or just keep it on You should do that. Yes. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Please accept my humble obeisance. Uh, Maharaj, uh, you mentioned uh, that uh, one of the anartha we have is kutinati, that is crookedness. Uh, many times what happens when we interact with devotees or management, there is a lot of expectation, uh, some service has to be done or some programs we have to attend. And genuinely we are not able to do it because of our limitations and other uh, problems or anything. So at that time what happens, we, uh, instead of telling the truth that Prabhu, I just can't do it, we, we find as Indians also as culture, we can't say no. So we it, it doesn't hurt anyone, we just give some other reason. So that is actually a lie, but the reason why we are telling that lie, why I can't do or why I can't attend, is because I don't want to hurt the person. So is that also affecting uh, us and it, it, it comes under the Kutinati category? It depends on your consciousness. Just like Ramananda Rai, he used diplomacy to impress Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He was glorifying Ramananda Rai. In a, uh, Ramananda was glorifying Pratapadra Maharaj just to impress Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And Prabhupada is writing, he was very expertly utilizing diplomacy to help Pratapadra Maharaj. If the diplomacy is for helping others, then that is all right. But Prabhupada says, as a sadhaka, better to avoid. The Siddha can do that. The Sadhaka will become victimized by Kutinati. So as a Sadhaka, we should avoid. Even if intention is good also, better to avoid it. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Thank you for the very nice class. Um, actually, humility is the very, very great quality and also difficult, Maharaj. How to handle with the children while guiding if they won't listen? You should become more humble. <laughs> That's why it's very difficult. Children are very important uh, members of our family to make us humble. So take in that way. Just like Pulhad Maharaj made Hiranyakashipu angry, but that is the way to make the parent humble. <laughs> you may think, oh, all my office uh, colleagues or, or whatever we are the working people in my office everybody is listening to me but at my home my son is not listening by that you can understand that you are not the controller yeah. so become humble so it's a very favorable thing if you take it in that way otherwise if the your son is listening whatever you say then he'll become proud that see what a parent I am 
whatever I say, he follows. So there is always advantage and disadvantage in anything. So therefore, we should take the good side of everything in our life and utilize that in the advancement of Krishna consciousness. And in nowadays, not listening is normal. Then Take we have to be way. more patience. Yeah, you have to. Thank you, Maharaj. Uh, online, uh. Uh, thank you for wonderful session, Maharaj. In our devotee circle, Okay, what happened? Huh? It's not... Okay. <laughs> Any other question? At the back. Oh, where? Time is there or to end up? Hare Krishna Maharaj. Dandat Pranam. Actually, in the analogy which you have given, <laughs> in the analogy which you have given, I heard. Uh, uh, gratitude also, like, uh, I don't remember exactly, it's like uh, drilling the field of the heart. So, can you please uh, elaborate on this? What? The gratitude. Huh. The humility is like the uh, fertility and uh, the uh, chanting and hearing is like watering the uh, seed. But I also heard uh, in one lecture about the gratitude part. Uh, so it's huh. like drilling the field of the heart, something like that. Mahaprabhu is not talking about that. Okay. It can be some explanation, but Mahaprabhu in the teachings to Rupa Goswami, I think, is not talking about gratitude. But okay. gratitude is a gratitude is a what I can say is a broader aspect. Gratitude is the attitude. Gratitude is the best attitude. Okay. Thank you, Mahaprabhu. We should be grateful. So thank you very much. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Hare Hare. Chila Prabhupada Ki Jai.